What's going on, everybody? My name's Loki, and we're back with another episode of P99. In the last episode, I showed you how I showed you how I soloed with my shaman. Now today, we are still in Lizardland, but we are playing Freaky Bones. Um, I did play them a little bit after um, when I was playing with the other guys. Uh, I did get the Burly Bane Spider Fang. It's got a proc on it, so it's gonna it's. I'm not sure if it's actually better or not, but it has a proc, so it's better on keeping aggro. And I'm sorry if there's... I should actually... You know, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I'll give you some... I'll give you guys some EverQuest music. I normally don't play with it because I don't like it. I despise it. And there's nothing good... And I don't think I was able to show you guys um, any of the cool stuff here. It's like it's really easy to power level. So I'm just going to have this recorded. I got to go farm a couple things, which I'm going to just talk through it and explain, you know, what they are roughly around the levels. Now I'm in the field of bones. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of just woke up. It's a great day. So, yeah, freaky bones. Um, now, when you're level one, the few things that you're going to want to kill are scaled wolf pups, and I'll, I'll show you why after I kill it. Okay, so they normally drop these scaled curskins. They weigh a ton, but you need them because I think when you hand in, if you hand in. It's eight of them. You uh, you go to a guy, you ask for a bag, he gives you a bag, you put an eight. You know, once you have the eight, you hand it back and he gives you a piece of curse scale armor. So it's like a quick, easy way of getting armor. Um, now, besides that, for level one, you're also decaying skeletons, which is common for most beginning areas. But this one's very nice. Because the skeletons come, you know, basically after you. So you can just keep fighting and fighting and fighting some more. And basically all you do is collect their bones. It's four bone chips per turn in, so. And those are the two level one mobs. And you basically, those are the two that you want to stick with for a while. Until you hit around level three. When you hit level three, scorpions are what you're after. Attack these bastards. Alright, and you, what you're looking for, you are looking for scorpion pincers. Uh, it's four for a turn in. Now, the turn in for the scorpion pincers and the bone chips are in the zone, while the curse scale is in the city. So if you have bad latency sometimes, it's best to avoid going in the city for a while, because of like disconnecting when you zone, and boom, there's one. So I just want to... Open up all these bags and get my pincers in one and curse scale in another because I want to actually show all three of these turn ins. And then, you know, after we do that, I think we're just going to have a little. See if we can get in a pit group. What we got? Well, we got 18 players on. There's definitely a pit group. And I also have this backpack, the Sarnik Head backpack for the Shadow Knight quest, which I don't really think I'm going to do. And Dark Dragon is on Skype. Yay, Dark Dragon. <coughs> my bad, guys. I'd say it's way early in the morning and I've been waking up with a stuffy nose from hell. So, yeah. Right now we're just collecting all this shit, so I can show each turn in. Now, if you want to power level a guy, like what happened to me was, you know, all AC, Thum, all the other guys already were like level 4 or 5. So what they did is they just went and annihilated this zone of scorpions, whoop pups, and bone chips because they're all tradable. So basically, I had an offense of like 2 at level 5. It was hilarious. 
And also some people don't like to loot. So sometimes you can just get a quest item for not even have to kill a mob. It's, it's just that simple. I just can't believe. And yes, I kind of record because I had a really good latency. And I still do. Because no one's up. Even though it's 3 in the afternoon. And then you can also kill a carrion beetle hatchlings, but they have a chance to summon the carrion queen who drapes, who drops nice legs, which are nice. <laughs> what is my piercing at? Ah, uh, six. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to get attacked by the queen. That one off, and I have enough bone chips to actually show the bone chips quest. And as you see, that was my proc going off, and it's just gonna do like one damage. But just having like that spell will increase aggro. Knowing I do have a taunt, and I think I have a bash, but I haven't got it yet. But I want to be using a two hander soon whenever I can get my hands on one. <laughs> Oh, I can leak that now. Wow, that's weird. Okay, time to kill more pups. I only need two. And there's a proc. Procky proc. So yeah, the guys don't know I have procky proc yet. So it's going to be a super surprise. Knowing they're all the monk clan. Ooh, a militia skeleton. That is not good. That is one of the few mobs in this area you have to watch out for and I have a pretty high sense heading so I'm gonna be able to not have to buy sense heading to macros anymore come on one more pup scalp and yes these puppies are heavy they're five stones per so like I'm almost at my maximum weight already, and I'm not even wearing plate or chainmail. Uh, Scorpion, you're on the list. Pincer. Pop. But yeah, just as so you guys know, this is Project 1999. It's not like I changed to live. Because that's gross. That's gross. Alright, boom. We got that. Now we just need to kill some scorpions. Oh, scorpion. Oh, scorpion. Please give me the pincer I see. I don't know if you can listen, but your drop rate really sucks. Sometimes if you sing to the mob when you kill it, it goes in peace a lot more, and you don't get pincers. I'm Freaky Bones, I'm here for you, you fucking piece of shit, scorpion. Oh, and skeletons love to walk with weapons. If you're a caster, kill them, get some money. Or just have Swaggy, you know, bring money to you. That was dope. <laughs> Ah, no pincers. Ah, I just need some pincers. Dumb bones be freaky in the field of bones. Just so you guys know, I love playing P99, but I love playing it with everyone else so much better, which I think we were supposed to play last night. But I fucked up and got a new toy, and I had to show the toy. 
So I hope everyone remembers the Super Nintendo. Well, I got, I picked up one of the rare games, Final Fantasy 3, the American version, which is actually six, which I've done a Let's Play of. I picked up a physical copy of it for the Super Nintendo. And then on top of it, picked a portable Super Nintendo so I could play it on the go. But the best part is it's got controller plugins on the little handheld device. And you can plug it into your TV. So we were kind of playing Super Mario World. And I almost got, I almost cheated and made my way all the way through Star World to uh, Bowser. But I kept fucking up on one stage. The one, one stage I don't remember and I can't get the infinite live glitch to work. And I need just one. Oh, I'm overweight. Goodbye, Copper. Get rid of you. I need a scorpion to pincer you. Ooh. Yo ho, pincer time. I just wish my nose wasn't clogged to hell. Yo ho, pincer. Good star. So yeah, the scorpions are still giving me experience at level 5, to where everything else really isn't. But at level 4 is when you tend to try to get into a pit group with, uh, like, some 6s and 7s. And pincer! 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 Alright, cool. We got the pincers. And then I could, you know, show you guys where to hand everything in. And as you see, these do drop bone chips. And that trooper likes to walk down here sometimes. So he could be a lifesaver or a big pain in your dick. Oh. Alright. So first off, we're going to make our way to the pincer guy. Which is going to be in this building upstairs. It's going to be the warlord. You can talk and have the conversation with him, or you could just literally hand in all four pincers, and it'll be like, cool, here's some money, get some experience. <laughs> ah, the nose, the nose. <laughs> Alright, here he is. Warlord Zis. He hates scorpions with a passion. And him pincers. And he rewards you. I got roughly about 2% experience. Nothing too much. <coughs> and it looks like I only need to hand two more in because of someone fucked up the quest. But, like, that, it's a good faction rep, too. If you are, aren't a lizard person. But you can talk to him. And then this guy is the bone chip guy. He's like, I bet you can't kill a skeleton. So you go prove him wrong. And boom, I got another 2%. And now we're going to make our way inside. And hopefully, zoning doesn't kill me. Because zoning is like ball busting. The game likes to break my balls when I zone, so I hate zoning. That's why most of the time when we try to record, I'd be like, Oh, gotta get to the zone before we start. Because I hate when the game like disconnects and then you see me try to reconnect and reconnect and reconnect some more. And actually, zoning wasn't too bad. It only increased my latency by 100, which is still garbage. But you could get away with it. Like, as long as you're not over 600, you really can't tell. Um, so, that's a shaman. If you guys didn't know. You know, Baron seems so much better, though. Those are the bears. Who likes lizards when you got bears? Alright. There's some guy brewing right there. Uh, the bank is right here, actually. For people who don't know Celibus. Cel really? The only thing I'm going to do is change. Boom. <gasps> Yay! I got Sal. Sweet. Now I can run faster, get here, make me stronger. Get up tonight to get home. We're up all night to get some. 
We're up all night for the love. We're up all night to hand shit in. This door could be a pain in the dick with lag. Alright, this guy is the current scale guy. You actually do have to talk to him. Be like, uh, Bristle Sickle, so man. Uh -huh. Bristle Silk? He'd be like, Cur Scale Armor. Cur Scale Armor. He'd like, Small Service. Small Service? And it'd be like, Oh, perform a small action. I will perform a small service. And when you say that to him, you can basically say that to him to begin with, and he'll give you the bag. And you get this bag of the empty Kerskel bag, which we are going to put all of these in. Combine it. And then you hand it right back to him. That's it. Boom. I got 11% at level 5. And also he gives me Kerskel cape. Actually, bristle silk or Kerskel? Curse scale's actually better. And then you... He's also a merchant, too. So it's like, oh, I have something that I don't need. Sell it right back to him. And actually, I have to sell while I'm here. Ooh, curse scale tunic. Uh, it's better... It's better. Yeah. I still don't have a chest piece. Ah, oh, it's garbage. Alright. You can take the brittle silk back. And now we're actually going to head to the land of the Shadow Knights. Because my latency is kind of kicking back up. So it picked the right time to after I zoned. Knowing I probably won't zone back into the field of bone, I'll probably camp in here. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. I'm not a hedgehog, I'm a lizard man. My name ain't Knuckles, but I do not care. So this tower, actually, let me get outside the tower. This tower is shamans down below. You run into the red thing. And you go up here, and then you gotta make. Before I fail, I'm actually gonna train now. Because he is a Shadow Knight. Alright. Bash is level 6. That's gross. I thought I could bash. It's the only reason why I came here. Ugh. Alright. So, get up. You gotta hop on here. Alright, I'm standing normal. And jump over. It's so hard sometimes. And then, like, when you actually start, you start right here in the Archduke Zog. And take these um, back down, uh, or you could fall through. So that's pretty much um, some easy quests to do. So my name's been Lokane, and I'll catch you guys next time. Probably yeah, tomorrow, like normal. I try to have something up every day of the week. Yay, YouTube. Hey, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for some more content. All right? Bye, guys.